Good morning. Today is January 2nd, and this is Mom's Moment. Let's see, what did I do yesterday um, to take care of myself? The first thing I did in the morning was I got up and I slipped into my workout shoes and I walked for 20 minutes on the treadmill. So got in a little bit of exercise. I then showered and with my coffee, I read and did some reflection, uh, which is very different for me. <laughs> Normally I tend to lean towards scrolling mindlessly on my phone or watching TV um, when I have a few minutes to spare. Um, so that felt nice. And then I made a huge effort to eat healthy. Uh, so in the morning, since it was Sunday, we had a family breakfast and I made scrambled eggs and sausage and fruit smoothies. And then for lunch, we had tuna salad and I made it with Greek yogurt instead of mayo. So that was slightly healthier. And then for dinner, we had a quinoa salad with veggies and um, some cheese so yeah and then lastly I worked on decluttering the house um, specifically the pantry yesterday there are a few more loose ends that I have to wrap up with that today um, and of course I'm, I'm looking at <laughs> like toys and a cluttered kitchen counter um, at least the dishes are done and the pantry is better so it's about progress right <laughs> I just have to remember that progress not perfection there you go so that's how I did yesterday how am I feeling about all of it um it was very interesting I wasn't expecting it to be that interesting on day one um first of all I got down on the treadmill and I was like, 20 minutes isn't going to do anything. Um, cause you know, it's, it's when you first wake up, you're not exactly, I'm not an optimist. <laughs> Let's put it that way when I first wake up, especially if I haven't had coffee yet. So, so I got on the treadmill and I was like, okay, I'll just put on a show and just walk. Like that's all you have to do is just walk. 20 minutes is not a long time. I did find myself looking at the clock. Um, but I was surprised at how hard it was in like a good way. I found myself sweating at the end, which is a little bit sad because before I had kids, I used to be able to run a seven minute mile. Um, and now I start sweating when I walk. <laughs> for 30 minutes on it or for 20 minutes on a treadmill um but I think that's a sign that that I need this um and that this is important and that I've clearly not prioritized myself um and that that should change so yeah I I mean the sweating was good and bad and I think I was a little sore afterward too I was like man am I really that far gone and and I don't know if far gone is the right way to put it but it, it's a clear indication that I haven't been taking care of myself um but it was also reassuring because just walking for 20 minutes is a good thing like I could tell if, if my body is responding this way if it is sweating and sore, it means it needs this and that just walking is a good first step. Um, because if you're like me and you like to go all or nothing, then as someone who used to like go to boxing and weightlift and like really run three, th three miles in one workout, like just walking for 20 minutes seems I don't know, silly, but I think I'll improve. I, I think it shows that 
that this is a good first step and that it will make a difference if I do it every day or most days um, and I, if I keep up with it. So yeah, so that was interesting. I again showered, which is really nice. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about you, but like washing my hair is always um, a chore and it was nice to just take a good long shower um, while the kids were still asleep and reading was nice. I did find it difficult. I, I read on my Kindle app, which maybe I should get like a, oh, excuse me, my baby monitor. Um, maybe I should get like a, I don't know, pick a physical book or, or actually charge my physical Kindle instead of reading on my app because I did find myself switching between um, Facebook and other social media and my Kindle and also found myself going to Amazon.com um, or the Amazon app which I was really that was bad I was like oh so that's where my money goes <laughs> I shop when I'm bored that's not good um, so I think maybe separating that out from my phone would be good but I did I did read so yay um, and then how else did I feel? Oh, eating healthy. I got crabby. I wasn't expecting that. I'm, I'm not going to lie. During my pregnancies, I craved donuts and pizza and burgers and all of the things that are not really good for you. And I indulged in that a little bit because when you're pregnant, you know, you're pregnant. <laughs> so I've gotten in the habit of having something really sugary in the morning, like donuts or pop tarts or Danish or even like Eggos, you know, you drench them in syrup, drench them, drown them. Um, and I found that around like two to three in the afternoon I was snapping at the kids a little bit and I was getting frustrated at things more easily and then in the evening I had a headache and I think it was related to the lack of sugar in my diet I really I really do the lack of sugar and less carbs and um, that surprised me I didn't expect it to be for my body to react that way. I know I should have, you know, because I talk about how when you cut out sugar, it's it's like cutting out, you know, something more addictive or it, it is an addictive substance, sugar. So your body and your brain is going to react to its absence. Um, but I was surprised it happened in day one. <laughs> so um, that was, that was interesting. Um, but overall, I'm proud of myself for actually making first steps and for doing this again as something for me and for, I don't know, just trying to take better care of myself. I'm proud of myself. Um, I do feel anxious about it too, though. I am an all or nothing person and even though in the moment as I was doing those things I was like this is not enough I'm not exercising enough the house is still a mess I didn't declutter enough I should have done this I should have done that um, so th that part makes me anxious that I'm that hard on myself um, however <laughs> when I listed all of those things to you guys um, that was a lot of stuff. It was a lot of stuff. So, is it sustainable? I don't know. I don't know. Well, we'll see. I'm, I'm a little nervous it's not, and then I'll go in, back into bad habits, but, yeah. So, goals for the week. Today is Monday. But it's a holiday, uh, and I've been off for 
uh, Christmas season, so I need to get back on top of work and school. Um, so I need to log in today and just see what my work week's gonna look like and figure out what my priorities are and get organized. On a similar note, I need to catch up on house stuff and um, prepare for the work week in that capacity so that I'm not drowning in housework. And then just give myself some grace as I continue to make progress. That's it. Bye.